The Caucasus, between the Caspian Sea and the Black Sea. Three countries, Azerbaijan, Georgia and Armenia. 3,500 kilometers, mostly together with my son, who accompanied me on this part of the trip. The entry to Azerbaijan was complicated, not because of any controls, they hardly took place, but the paperwork. In order to pay for the car transport, the road tolls, the customs and harbor fees, and to get stamps I had to cross the pedestrian bridge on the left in this picture four times to the containers with the different offices. After five hours everything was finally done and I could leave the port in Alat. From there I made it to the 70 kilometers to Baku. In the small hotel a surprise. The German time was here indicated not by Frankfurt or Berlin, but by Bremen, my place of birth. From the Caucasus, there are nice drone pictures again. My son can do this better than me. Here's the skyline of Baku. The city is dominated by the Fairman Flames Towers Hotel, where we stayed for three nights. Its design stands for the fire in the country through natural gas and oil wells. So you can sometimes find oil pumps in residential areas between the houses. Our first excursion led us to the small and fluffy mud volcanoes. 300 of the worldwide 1100 are located in Azerbaijan. Yana Duck, the burning mountain, of which Marco Polo already reported, was also on the route. At Lake Gögel near Ganja, we did not get any further because it is located in a military area. Here there was strong resistance because of our drone. Therefore, unfortunately, only one photo. By Azerbaijan, land of fire and radar traps. There are at least as many of them here as there are oil wells. We went on to Georgia. Only from there and from Iran you can later continue on the road to Armenia. Great pictures in the center of Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. In the foreground, the concert hall, behind the presidential palace, and behind it, the Sambia Cathedral. And the Peace Bridge over the Kura. It's a drone, stupid. The Shinkavi Reservoir supplies Tbilisi with drinking water.
The Georgian Army Road, also called the Gruzinian Army Road, crosses the Great Caucasus at an altitude of 2400 meters in the direction of Russia. For thousands of years it has been used by merchants and armies, today also hosts of tourists. The monument of friendship between Georgia and Russia from the 80s. Today we spent the night again on a camping site, to be tomorrow very early at Mount Katzbeck. Actually it was closed, but after a few phone calls they opened us. Mount Katzbeck, 5000 meters high. On 362 days in a year it covers its mountain top in clouds, but we were lucky. Camping at the river in the Tusheti National Park. Tomorrow we want to cross the Abano Pass to Omalu. It started quite easy, but soon the road meandered along the mountains. Seven hours for 34 kilometers. At 3000 meters, the Abano Pass is the highest pass in Georgia and one of the 100 most dangerous roads in the world. In addition, the weather changed behind every hilltop. On the pass, time for drone flights. Done. However, tomorrow we had to go down again. Ich leider zurück. Nee, warte, stopp. Memorial Signs for the Accident Victims. For whatever reason, the return journey took only six hours instead of seven. Next, we went to Armenia. First to Yerevan, the capital. Less developed than Baku or Tbilisi and with many relics from Soviet times. 
but tremendously adorable. I still remember the jokes of the fictitious Radio Yerevan in the 70s. For example, question to Radio Yerevan, is it possible to introduce socialism even in a highly industrialized country? Answer from Radio Yerevan, in principle yes, but it would be a pity for the industry. Armenia was the first country in the world which introduced Christianity as a state religion in the year 301. Accordingly, there are many churches and monasteries. In Armenia too, there are old caravanserais along the Caucasian Silk Road. Like here at the Selim Pass, the Obelian Caravanserai. A good time for drone flights. On our way back to the north, we get into heavy thunderstorms and hailstorms. Our last stop in Armenia, Lake Sivan at the Little Caucasus. and a car wash before we return to Tbilisi in Georgia. Shortly before Tbilisi a small country road with a lively herd of cattle. Soon the big city had us back. Much too fast 19 days are over and my son had to go back to Germany. 